Now it's time to put on some wire. We've been getting bit off. We're gonna stop that issue right now. So here, I'm gonna take some number seven AFW tooth proof wire. And there's been some big kings out here. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit longer leader. So here I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put a circle hook on here to start. And then I just give it a good twist like that, like around 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna do a series at 45 degrees. About five times around. And then I'm gonna go straight up and down. And now I'm gonna wrap it in a series very tight to each other. And that'll help lock that in. And once again, you know, about five times around, which equals about 10 turns, because each turn's a half a turn. So now I have this tag end. This is the most important part here so you don't slice your hand. The way to get rid of this tag end, I'll bend it on each other, one, one side to the other, and then it's just gonna come right off. Now feel that. You're not gonna, you're not gonna cut your hands. That's, that's very important. Yeah, that's the haywire twist. Now on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna put a little swivel on there. So look how small that is. That's oh, just yeah. a little tiny swivel, and that's a 100-pound test. <laughs> Once again, we're gonna do the haywire, give it a good twist right there. So now we're gonna take our AFW barrel swivel, attach it to the, just like that. Ready to rock. Yep. So now you can put a bait on there, throw it out the back, and see if you get a nice king. All right, I got this little, the CNH little chugger here on a rigged up ballyhoo with some high seas 80 pound test. And here I'm tying up an AFW barrel swivel to snap into my snap swivel for my Tiger's Outrigger. Boom. AFW snap swivel. Heavy duty. Boom. All right, so we got a nice little valley out here rigged up. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PVG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Spider hitch. Like to get a section of braid, you know, a foot or two. Now keep in mind the longer you make these loops, the less likely you are to have to retie one if you want to just cut and retie off them. Because if you have a short, you tie it short, you know, you're going to run out of distance if you like to cut and change your leaders. So I do about a foot and a half to two foot. I'm going to get my loop, and now where I'm pointing and causing that, I'm going to twist it and make another loop. And now with your remaining tag end of a loop, wrap it around your index finger and thumb. Two, three, four to five times is just fine. Pass it up through the bottom and then just let it slide off your fingers right onto that loop and pull it nice and tight. And you can even let go of the tag in and it'll get even tighter. But now you have a very strong double line section ready for all brights, double unis, whatever you like. If I was going to complete this rig, what I would do actually now is I would take, so I have it here coming off the rod. I'm gonna take a section of fluorocarbon leader just because of the abrasion resistance and the clarity of our water down here in the Keys. This is gonna be my next add. And what I'll do here is the thickness of this is way off, you know, this braid compared to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tie the Albright through it just because it'll honeycomb over. With it being as thick, you don't have to wrap it more than probably four or five times. So I'm gonna go four up and then come one down roughly. And I'm just gonna stick it right back through that. Just like so. And I like to pull mine fairly tight in the beginning because they're gonna, they're gonna wanna slip and give. And then I'll let go of the tag, give it a good wrap, pull it nice and tight. 
that's how I just added that thick leader to that. Okay, so the knot I'm gonna tie here, we call it the cam knot. It's a very simple three wrap knot. What you'll do is you'll take the tag end of your line, pass it through the eye of your hook, get a good section of extra tag, and now what you'll do is come underneath or behind your main line, grab your tag end, come around and in front and create a loop. Now you're gonna do this three times. So that was one, this is two, and now this is three. Now with your remaining tag end, fold it and come underneath and up through the three loops you've created and grab it with your index finger and start to pull. And as you let go, it will just get nice and tight. You can pull it as hard as you would like. It's not gonna give. And you can cut it as close as you would like with a pair of scissors or pliers. And then you're set. What's going on guys, fish camp? A little cold out there in the 50s and it's blowing 30 knots. We aren't fishing today. We're teaching knots, we're teaching the lots. Got some wire, and uh, I'm gonna show you what we tie up for our toothy critters. Mr. Barracuda, Mr. Mackerel, Mr. Wahoo, or Mr. Weehoo. Well, let's, uh, let's get to tying a haywire twist here. So we got some number six wire here. It's gonna go right up through the eye. And that like so, like so. Then with this, I'm gonna start to loop at a 90 degree angle, perpendicular to my main and try to start wrapping on itself. So now I'm gonna wrap tight as I can on top of each other. Looping up the wire here. About four or five times, depending on what, uh, you know, gauge wire, what number you're working with here. All right. About so, here, the name of the game is taking this tag, this loose, and bending it back and forth. As close as you can to that bend on the haywire twist. So we're gonna bend, we're gonna bend, and then we're gonna start wiggling. Pop. And then now we can run our finger across that and we ain't checking for our blood sugar levels, right? Nice little haywire twist. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress anchor. So when I do the copper wire straight to the, straight to the pitch hook, I'm gonna put it right through the eye and go down the back side. And just pinch it down the back side, I'm gonna take a wrap and go down the shank of the hook. And go over that little flap. Right? Yep, and go over that flap so it'll stay. And you don't need the flap to be too long. You see how short I have it? Because it'll stay once you give it a couple wraps. You want the wraps to be nice, tight, perfect. So that way when you're going to rig it, nothing gets caught. See that? Yep. How it's wrapped tightly. You want to poop them, get all their insides out. And you're going to want to break their back. Is that just what the water's going to come out of? Yeah, that just gives it a little more motion. I'm going to go under the gill here, left or right side, it doesn't matter. And you're going to come here. You're gonna help it. You're gonna go down and you're gonna help it by pushing down the head. And you're gonna come out. You see where it's gonna come out. You pull this 
goes. And you're gonna grab the hook and pull it down and just shake it a little bit. And you're gonna grab this copper wire, you're gonna go around the gill, around the other gill, come back up. You're gonna take your point, and you're gonna go through the bottom and out through the top. You're gonna poke just through like that right in the center. You're gonna come around. I go through the eye one time. A lot of people do it multiple times, but it really doesn't matter. And I wrap. And now I'm just gonna wrap it all the way down the beak as far as the rest of the wire will go. So it'll stay on there nice and tight. And then you'll be ready to pitch. Basic value for it. Right, so here we just got bit off by some macros had three in a row by our yellowtail jigs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up and you know this right here is the titanium 30 pound and we're going to be tying the figure eight knot for these we're going to come through the eye and we're just going to form a figure eight just like this and that's it We'll trim that off, tie that on, and now we're ready for the mackerel. So now we already tied the figure eight knot to our jig. Now I'm gonna tie it to the small AFW swivel. Just put it through the eye. Just come around here, very simple knot. Just come around the main line, and then you're gonna take the tag end and just go through the loop like that. It's gonna make a figure eight. And that is it. And just tie that on. Trim it, ready to go. That simple. So first here, like what I'm gonna rig, this would be the kite rod that, that we would be putting the leader on and, and hanging the bait from before we get the kite set up. So we're gonna, this is, you know, a float here. This is gonna be your, your visual. This is your identifier as it's hanging down there, nice bright orange. So it's easy to see because, you know, you want it to be six to 10 feet above the water and then the bait would be swimming on the surface. So to rig this up, this is what's gonna get clipped to the kite. This is gonna be my float indicator, just like that. Then underneath that, I'm gonna add a weight on there. That way there, it gives me some weight. So if I'm using a smaller pilchard or something like that, this weight is gonna help me keep it, you know, straight up and down. And then we just put the bead on there. And then we put our snap swivel. I have the 30 pound high seas mono on here and that's what i like all like for all the way around I, I don't i don't do any double lines or anything like that 30 pound test is plenty on my kite setup so now this is ready for the leader and everything like that would be put on there so that's how it's going to look right there so here you know this is fluorocarbon you know it's a big spool high seas 100 percent fluorocarbon this 40 pound test take off about 10 feet of line and then just cut it here. So on that loop, I'm just gonna tie the loop knot. This is the easiest knot you'll ever tie. We use it for lures, all that stuff, but it's just an overhand knot. And then I'm gonna take this line and go through that, that uh, circle. And then I'm gonna just tighten it down. And then I'm just gonna tie one more overhand knot over the main line. And that's it, you know, so you'll take this 
So it's just really two overhand knots and that's all you need. So, so then you can flip this now right to that snap swivel on there. We're gonna snap that on there. Now this is how long my leader's gonna be hanging off the kite. I'll grab circle hook, 8-0, and then this is gonna be the uni knot. Pinch it together, just bring it through there, and we take the tag in and then just put it in, in our fingers, just like that, forming a six. And then I'm gonna come inside that, that circle there, going over double both lines five times, pull it taut, lubricate it, and pull tight. It's like a slip knot. That's the single uni, but now it's ready to go to put a bait on there. Uh, one thing I do like to do, like if I'm sail fishing, we have these little O-rings and I'll put two of them on there, just like that, right about there. So then when, when I put this through the pilchards or the pinfish or the ballyhoo's nose, it's gonna stop right there. It's not gonna go any further, allowing the hook to double back over on the fish. Because if it does that, well then that hook's buried in the fish, the sailfish comes up, eats, and just doesn't get the important part. You know, so this right here is, is what I like to do when, when we fly it, you'll see just like that. Now this one's ready to go, and that's good. I mean, you'd be letting it out more, you know, to like let it get to the first clip. But once you got it to there, you're good to go. I'm gonna leave that clicker on, and I'm gonna attach it to this clip right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna hold on to this float right here. The clicker's on, and I'm gonna back off the drag. So now I tighten that drag, lock this up. All right, so now here, I'm gonna take this bait, I'm gonna do like, like right through the nose, just like that. Those stoppers are gonna stop it, keep it from getting, you know, doubled over on itself. Then I'm just gonna throw it out there. And then I'm gonna reel this up and then hang that fish right out there in our slick. So he'll just sit right out there if a sailfish comes. At Tigris, we've been manufacturing quality outriggers and gear for saltwater fishing professionals for more than 25 years. We've raised the bar for innovation, ease of use, and convenience. Every accessory is constructed with the highest quality materials to give the maximum service in life. Our selection includes outriggers, fishing kites, rod holders, accessories, and many more products designed so that you can fish harder. Visit TigrisOutriggers.com to learn more.